the Points Plus really sort of takes the points program that you've had for a while and kind of brings it to the next level right. based on new scientific research. So the premise of the new Points Plus formula is that all calories aren't created equal. So calories aren't even technically part of the formula. It's protein, fat, fiber, um, and carbohydrates. So the four macronutrients that make up a calorie. So things that are you know lower, higher in fiber, lower in fat, um, have less points value. So you know, rather than having somebody eat a 100 calorie snack pack versus an apple which has zero points, mm -hmm. you know, we're pushing you and guiding you towards choosing the apple, choosing, making a healthier choice. Um, and things that we know are more filling for people so they're less likely to be hungry, less likely to feel deprived, and less likely to be unsuccessful. You use celebrities to promote the brand and to market the program. We have. We've used them um, sparingly, I would say. So the, probably one of the most famous celebrities that we worked with was uh, the Duchess of York. Sure. And yeah. so she was with us for 10 years. Mm -hmm. She was around for the launch of the original points program and, you know, it's continued to work with us in a PR capacity up until a couple of years ago. Um, Jennifer's really been our, Jennifer Hudson has really been our most high profile celebrity that we've used in the last five or six years. And she's been very ubiquitous. I mean, you see yeah. her on TV ads all the time. I'm Jennifer Hudson and I believe. I was strong before Weight Watchers, but I'm stronger with it. She's been very successful. I mean, there's a lot of reasons for that. I mean, first of all, she is an A-list celebrity, so she's got a lot of stuff going on already in her career. She's an actress, she's a singer, she's successful in her own right. Um, and so we're not having to sort of manufacture that public relations, the publicity that comes along with that. Right. We're able to kind of build organically on things that she's doing. Um, and then, you know, just as a person, she's very authentic and relatable, and we all saw her you know, when she was heavier and Simon was mean to her on American Idol and so people kind of root for her yeah. um, and they see her as a girl next door and they're happy for her um, versus somebody who comes across as maybe, you know, having a trainer and a cook and all of those things. I mean, I don't know if you had a chance to see the Dr. Oz show last week that she was on. There's no question that she knows the program yeah. <laughs> inside yeah. out. So she was a really great pick for you. She was amazing. Yeah, and now you amazing. have Charles Barkley who's yes. actually promoting the brand because you're trying to reach men this year, right? Yeah, we created a product for men in 2007, Weight Watchers Online for Men. So, so the product is completely customized for, for men in terms of how they like to eat, the tools that they like to use, et cetera. Um, but we hadn't really done a lot of marketing of it. We kind of had held back and we tried some things in digital and we found that we couldn't really scale it mm -hmm. um, without significant mass media. And last year we launched a campaign targeting men with just regular guides and it was very successful. So we thought, okay, let's get, you know, let's do the whole <laughs> nine yards and let's try and find, a, you know, the, the right kind of celebrity. Uh, we have all the, the tools in our arsenal that men want. Mm -hmm. Let's try and make a serious effort to go after them. And then, you know, Charles obviously overcomes that, you know, there isn't a manlier man out there than Charles Barkley. Every guy thinks they can install the new dishwasher themselves until they blow up the kitchen. And every guy thinks they can lose weight on their own. But look around, guys. It ain't working. And we just liked, you know, his authenticity and his, his, his unfiltered kind of nature. We liked that about him. We thought, you know, once if we can see this guy being successful, then he could be a great spokesperson, a great ambassador for our brand. Now, it's been widely reported that Jessica Simpson is going to be using the program as soon as she's uh, had her baby. Yes. Is that true? No. <laughs> See, you can't believe what you read. We, have, we don't have any agreement with Jessica. We talked to a lot of different people. We'll see how it plays out. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay. As we move into 2012, what can we expect to see as far as additional celebrities who are going to be promoting the brand? You know, we don't have any immediate plans for celeb, you know, to, we, we don't have like, we need a celebrity now mm -hmm. kind of thing. You know, we take a look around, we're constantly looking around at people out there who we think need our, you know, might need our help. And, you know, the way that we like to work is really to work with someone in a discreet way, which is why I wouldn't talk about, you know, about anyone until we're sure. ready to announce them and, and make sure that they really like the program, that they're, that, that they're having success on it before we put someone on a public stage and potentially, you know, it doesn't work out for them or it doesn't work out for us. Yeah. So we yeah. try and, you know, we have a VIP service. We have a lot of people today that are, you know, social influencers, well-known well people who we provide, you know, a service to and allow them to experience the program. And if they want to talk about it, great. And if they don't, okay.